Welcome back for another round of the podcast. And what's the name of that podcast? <laughs> Drivecast. Let's Drivecast. One for me. <laughs> One for Jeff. All right. Strivecast is open for business. Jeff, what episode? Um, uh, uh, it's season six, episode thirty-seven. That Woo! is correct. Wow. Season six, episode thirty-seven of the Strivecast. We should probably introduce ourselves. No. I'm Jeff. Oh, how about we take turns introducing ourselves? I'm Jeff. Yep. Yeah, happy Jeff. And happy. No- Happy Jeff and happy Noel. All right, there's our hosts. Um, How about our sound and video engineer? I am Ryan, the sound and video engineer. Alex? Hello, I'm Alex. And I'm Pete. Our friend Whitney is on assignment. Should be along later in the episode, we hope. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Guys, what do we have to talk about? Um, Rushmore and Centeno, is it? That's what we're going to do today. Mount Rushmore and sit down and listen. And of course, some Strivia. Of course. Of course. It's one of the mainstays here on the Strivecast. Um, All right. Lots lots of other things. Great episode of the Strivecast coming your way. Yep. Noel, go ahead. So we're still recording. We are still recording. So if it's private, you might want to pause. No, it's not private. Do Shout it out. What I saw at Avano, Aaron Bidador. Oh. He has a new company at Avano. Old friend of Strive? Yep. Okay, good. Yep. All right. Any, anything else before we get started? I wish. No. Oh, Jeff, do you have something? Um, do you remember Aaron? Uh, how about I, I did the random house kick? I do remember Aaron in the random house <laughs> kick. Might not be a story to share on the Strivecast. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it was, it was the random house kick on Aaron's head. There you go. There's the story. She heard anyways. All right. Pick it out. Well, uh, would you like to take us a break, Jeff? Yes, Pete. We'll be right back. All right, this Strivecast is back. And what's it time for now, Jeff? It's time for my segment and Pete's segment. Oh, <laughs> oh yours and Pete's segment. I think this is just your Strivecast segment. So why don't you kick it off here on Mount Rushmore? Uh, you got it, Mr. Pete. Okay, if you haven't been listening... Um, where you been? But also, each week here on the Strivecast, we pick a super secret topic for Jeff to give us his top four things of all time in. And Alex has this week's secret topic. I do. Today on the Strivecast, on Jeff's Mount Rushmore segment, we are going to do your Mount Rushmore of animals if you were in a fight and you had to pick four animals to be on your team. Oh, what top four animals would you pick if you were getting in a fight with someone else and their four animals? That's the kind of question you only hear right here on the Strat <laughs> Um, I'm um, uh, uh, um, actually, um, I, I pick um, number one, I pick the, 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 the um, the T-Rex. T-Rex is a great choice. T-Rex, good one. Good start. If we were in the fight like a thousand years ago. but. but. <laughs> uh, that's one. And I think the, I'm uh, busting your butt. You didn't even acknowledge it. He's taking this question very seriously. Yeah, good job. Uh, yes. Oh, yes, I do. All right. So it's Jeff, a T-Rex, and who else is fighting in this fight? And I, I think my second one is, is going to be the um, the pterodactyl. Oh, we're going okay. full on dinosaurs. Pterodactyl. Okay, what else you got? And um, so I think three is is going to be the the tabahera. The what? The tabah. 
Is that another dinosaur? There it is. Okay. Jeff going with the all dino team. <laughs> Papadera. dino all-star team over here. All right. And, and then I'll pick um, the the Pratiosaurus. Okay. Pratiosaurus? Yep. Oh, all right. Well, there's a couple of dinosaurs I didn't know existed. So there you go. More learning here on the Strivecast. Jeff's got T Rex, Pterodactyl, Tupidorus, and the Protosaurus. Yes? Proteosaurus. Proteosaurus. Okay, my bad. Proteo. All right. Wow. Who's next? Okay. I'm going to pick Peter, um, what's that song? Bunny Foo Foo. You'd pick a little bunny Foo Foo? <laughs> to be in a fight with you? In a fight? Yeah. Okay, I think the pterodactyl might eat it. Interesting choice. And Kangaroo Jack is another one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and Kangaroo Jack? And Baloo the Bear. Oh, these are like fictional. Character animals. <laughs> okay. Baloo the Bear. All right, these seem like lovers, not fighters to me. Yeah. And um, one of the guys from Take. One of the guys from what? Taken. The video. Yeah. All right, we need an animal, though. <laughs> oh, and, okay. How about a jackrabbit? Jackrabbit. Okay. I, I worry that your team is going to get beat up. <laughs> Little Bunny Foo Foo is not who I picked first in a fight. <laughs> okay, so oh, just to oh, recap oh, this. Robert De Niro is one of them. Who? Robert De Niro. Well, you have to have, it's animals. It's an animal. All right, so we got Little Bunny Foo Foo, Hango <laughs> yeah. Jack, Baloo the Bear, a Jack Rabbit, and Robert De Niro. Yeah. If you can have a person. <laughs> I think you're going to need Robert De Niro, even though I don't know how, how old is he at this this point, but we'll put him in there with you. Oh, and um, if he... Yeah. Uh, um, how about uh, the, um, uh, um, the Pachasaurus. Okay. Jeff gets next to dinosaur. <laughs> Noel gets Robert De Niro, who is 80 years young, by the way. Oh, boy. He'll be 80, 81 in August. So Great addition to the team. All right. Jeff, who's next? Alex. All right, Alex. Okay. You're up on the Strivecast. I'm going to go a polar bear. Okay. I'm going to go a rhino. Ooh, good one. I'm going to go, if this battle gets taken to the sea, I'm going to go a whale. Okay. And then I'm going to go, like, a tiger. Oh. Those are my four. Polar bear, rhino, whale, and tiger. There you go. And would you like to pick a uh, aging celebrity? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass. But thanks. Okay. All right, Jeff. Who's next? I don't know. Me or Ryan? How about you, Pete? Okay. I was thinking some similar ones. I'm going to go grizzly bear, mm. and then I was going to go lion. Um, uh, I'm going to go like a like silverback ape. Oh, good one. And my spirit animal, junkyard dog. <laughs> okay. All right, Ryan's turn. It's so pick four animals that you would like to be in a fight again with, with on your team against to be on a fight with. Yes, they're they're fighting with okay, you. Okay, I pick a bear, a shark. Shark is a great choice. Um. And maybe a um, tiger. Okay. And a 
a bull. Ooh, good oh, good one, good one Ryan. All right, let's let's think for a minute about what Whitney would pick. Mm. How about a bumblebee? Bumblebee could be. Oh. <laughs> Oh, a tennis. I think we pick like an elephant. Yeah, mm. and I think I think maybe like a, I don't know, something, I, something I, I, the ocean. A Taylor Swift kangaroo. Taylor Swift kangaroo. <laughs> that, that could be it. Yep. Yeah. Maybe one. Maybe a one of the dinosaurs that Jeff didn't draft. Mm. The um, oh, I know. Like Triceratops. Yeah. Oh, I like Triceratops. I already picked it. <laughs> Do you say gira giraffe? Oh, a raptor. A raptor. A raptor. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, nobody picked really any birds. And which one is bird really good fight? We got pterodactyl. <laughs> True. Eagle. Maybe we should pick an eagle. Oh. Which one are you going to replace out of your list, though? To oh. take in? Like eagle fan. Look at. I don't know. We'll keep eagle okay. bird. Bench. All right, well, that's the top of the mountain. Some good choices up at the top of the mountain here. What about what would be the worst for animals to fight with? Someone could argue potentially Noel's list with a little one poo poo, might be <laughs> up there. <laughs> Sorry, Noel. Okay. A possum. Okay, you're going to go first? A possum. Yeah. Okay, possum. Drano. <laughs> Drano? Like liquid Drano? <laughs> Um, Not really an animal, but we'll go with that. Penguin. Penguin. Would, that's penguin. a good choice. And a mushroom. Okay. <laughs> and a great big mud puddle animal. Okay. What a team. Uh, do you have a celebrity? Yeah. Okay, who? It Captain. would be Oscar the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch. Okay. <laughs> penguin, possum. Drano, mushroom, mud <laughs> puddle, Oscar the Grouch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And how about they fight against Jeff's worst team? Jeff, who you got? This is your segment. You should have gone first, but <laughs> okay. Go for it. Um, I think uh Warren's gonna be Whitney. The worst people to fight with. I'm sorry, I stepped on you there. <laughs> Did you just say name? Whitney? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good choice. Not an animal, but oh, uh, I throw the giraffe on that one. Okay. <laughs> right. uh, okay. Um, Did you just confuse Whitney with a giraffe? <laughs> okay. Anyway, keep going. Whitney, giraffe. What else? Um. Nt. NPT? Yeah. Okay. He used to be his best roommate at the time. Well, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't mean that you'd be great in a fight. Oh. Although these are supposed to be animals, but... Oh. You've got two people and a giraffe. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I was going to say... um. Although Noel's got Drano, so... I... Yeah, I was going to say. Anything goes here on this drive, yeah? closer than Drano and a mushroom. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus? <laughs> okay. All right, and one more. Oh, or whatever. <laughs> uh, fuzzle wrap. <laughs> All right, two more dinosaurs. Whitney, giraffe, NPT, Stegosaurus, <laughs> and the Velociraptor? Yeah. Okay, there you go. That seems like a pretty tough crowd right there. All right, Jeff, who's next? Alex. All right. Okay. I'm going to go an inchworm. Um, okay. A hummingbird. Oh, good one. Um, a goldfish. Oh, another good one. <laughs> and we'll go for my fourth one. We will go with a... Um, a wig? A wig? A wig. <laughs> a wig. Okay. <laughs> Inchworm, hummingbird, <laughs> goldfish, and wig. <laughs> um, Ryan, you want to go? 
Uh, yeah, so, um, top, like, flying animals? Any, any, it doesn't have to be flying, could be anything. Top what, animals in general? Yep, that would be the worst in a fight. The worst, okay, I say bees. Okay. Uh, let's see, um, I think what else would be, I think sharks would be dangerous. The ones that are not on my side. I know I mentioned sharks before. Okay, the other um, two. Let's see here. AP, Strivecast. That's right. <laughs> We're on the Strivecast. Besides those two, I'm trying to think what else. I know bears might look cute in cubs, but in reality, they could be still dangerous too. So. Say like a bear cub, like a little one. Yeah, but big bears can be dangerous. Yep. Tigers in reality could be dangerous. They're not like your little cute felines at home that. Right. Know. Okay, you got one more? I think I have a name for a tiger. Okay. Yeah. I didn't have tiger down. Okay. All right. Well, mine's pretty easy um, right here on Mount Rushmore on the Strivecast. I've got the worst four animals to be on your side in a fight would be mouse, kitty, bunny, and chipmunk. Is that right? Good one. And dishwasher. Uh, dishwasher. <laughs> All right. Who said dishwasher? I did. Just because Noel said Drano and yeah. you said wig for Alex. I just thought <laughs> it was supposed to throw in like an inanimate object. Oh, a, a faucet. A faucet, okay. <laughs> All right, well, Jeff, a good segment here on uh, Mount Rushmore. Anything else? Uh, no, Pete, I am good. All right, do you want to take this Strivecast to break? Yes, Pete, we'll be right back. Strivecast is brought to you by. You're at it right here. And Ryan, tell them how they could get their so, ad right here. You can get you can put, get your ad here. Um, Ten dollars an episode, and we'll work a deal with you. So, um, if you're interested in being a sponsor and getting your brand out there. Give us a call at 207-774-6278 or email strivecast at pslstrive.org. Awesome. Jeff, want to take us a break? Yes, we will be right back. Welcome back to this week's episode of Strivia Live here on the Strivecast. Should we begin with a score update, or are we okay? I think we should oh. just jump right in. Oh, oh welcome and back. It literally no, jumps right in. Of our the coincidence. Team members on the Strivecast just popped right back in. He heard there was trivia. He's here to play. He literally jumped right in the chair. There we go. Okay, ready to jump I'll right in. Tribute us to people. Get them excited. I just. You're good. We're, no, we're on the air, no, We're live. <laughs> he jumped right in, literally. Our Very other. Good. Team member on the Strivecast, Whitney, might join us partway through trivia. We'll let her hop in whenever she joins. How does that sound to everybody here now? Good. Good. All right. Uh, Strivecast uh, score update? Yes, Alex is. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yes. In first place, also re we're rebranding. It's not just Strivia. It's Strivia on the Strivecast. <laughs> so you might hear me say that a lot today. Strivia on the Strivecast. <laughs> Noel, first place with 130 points. Great job, Noel. Yo. Second place, Whitney slid into second place last week with 120.75 points. Good job to her. Ryan, 171, excuse me, 117. Keep up the good work. Jeff, 111.25. Great work. And Pete, 82 points. 
I am determined to catch up on <laughs> Sturvia on this drive cast. So let's go. We'll bring back the wheel next week for those of you that have followed our wheel drama. Um, please tune in next week to see us spin the wheel again on Strivia on the Strivecast. I've okay. told that I'm getting a little too salty, so I need to <laughs> behave myself on Strivia on the Strivecast. So. June. It is June. We all know that. Yes. June uh, is also National Candy Month. National Candy Month. So today's Strivia on the Strivecast yes. is all about... Dentist. Candy. Oh. candy. Hope you guys like candy. Hope you're ready mm. for some candy questions. We got a lot of candy questions for you today. Great. Question one is multiple choice. Question one Where did the Hershey's Kiss get its name? A, from the sound the machine makes, it sounds like a kiss. B, a kiss was a common term in the candy business for a small piece of candy. C, someone that worked for Hershey's came up with the name for a Valentine's Day marketing campaign. D, it was originally called a Hershey's Costs, but then they realized that was silly because nobody knew what a cost was. So they changed it to Hershey's Kiss, hoping nobody would notice. Which one of those is the correct wow, answer? Wow, second one. You're going, kiss is a common term for the candy yeah. business, for a small piece of candy? I was going to do the third one. Okay, Ryan, uh, Noel's going for the Valentine's Day one. What do you think, Jeff? Um, I think I'm going with the first one. Found the machine makes? Yes. And Pete, what do you think? I'm with Noel on this one, I think, the Valentine's Day one. Here on Strivia on the Strivecast. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was a bad call. But point for both Jeff and Ryan, because both of those yeah. are correct. Nobody is quite sure where the name came from, but A and B have both been thrown out as possible option so point for jeff point for ryan on strivia on the good job round. boys good job question two what is the second most popular holiday in the u.s for candy buying second most popular holiday Ooh. Wendy wild come on in we're live on the air. <laughs> well it's you only missed one question i think is this um, multiple choice or just a fill in the word it's not multiple choice. Ryan's okay. going to go with Easter. Like if, if, if Halloween would be number one, I think Easter probably number two. The question, Whitney, in, on Trivia on the Strivecast is what is the second most popular holiday in the U.S. for candy buying? June okay. is National Candy Month. Okay. Ryan's going Easter. What are you going with, Jeff? Um, I think I'm going with, um, I think it was Ryan. You're going to go Easter as well? What's the category down at? The question, there's no multiple choice. No multiple choice on this one. So you just have to guess the second most holiday, what you think the second most holiday, popular holiday for candy buying is. In I the think year. Christmas. Christmas, okay. Whitney? I'm going to go with the group and say Easter. Easter. And Pete? I'm going Valentine's. Three of you got it right. Easter was the correct answer. Two points for Ryan for getting it first. One point for both Jeff and Whitney. Yes. Whitney, welcome back to Strivia on the Strivecast. Hey, Whitney. How you doing? Hi, Jeff. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Everybody's been on assignment. Happy to join us here on the Strivecast. Question three. Follow up question, question two. One of the most popular candies on Easter is the chocolate bunny. This one is multiple choice. What is the most popular part of the bunny to eat first? Oh. Is it A, the feet, B, the ears, C, the middle, D, smash the bunny and then just eat random pieces? <laughs> the middle, just take a bite out of it. I think you smash the bunny and eat random pieces. Okay. I got what were you going to say, Pete? I'm going to go ears. Without you buzzing in? Yes, I was trying to buzz I in. With, I go with the second one. Ears? Yeah. No, uh, Jeff, what do you think? Um, I think I'll go for the ears. Okay, and Whitney. I'm saying ears, too. 
<laughs> Mark call by a lot of you going with the ears. First point to Pete. Like uh, two points to Pete for getting it right first. Uh, the ears was the correct answer. Who would eat the middle first? How would that work? <laughs> I got, really I got a body point too. Multiple choice on an Easter bunny. <laughs> what, what, no? I got a point too because I said the ears. So. Yeah, right. good job. How about me, Alex? You also got a point on Striviana. You eat little bunny foo foo? <laughs> okay, question four. In a poll done by USA Today in October 2023, what candy ranked as number one in the state of Maine? What was Maine's favorite candy in October 2023? This is not multiple choice. Pete, was that another buzzin? Yep. What would you say? Uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Alex. Okay. Uh, who wants to go next? Who has another guess for most pop? Jeff. Um, I think I'm going for... Um, um, Snickers Bar. Snickers, good guess. Who's up next? No? Okay, how about melts in your mouth but not in your hand? Mm, that would be M&M's, right? <laughs> yeah. And Ryan? I'd say Reese's as well. And Whitney? For some reason, I thought M&M's. You were all wrong. <laughs> it was not a chocolate-based candy. It's actually Sour Patch Kids. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, I don't take my answer to... Sorry, bad kids. <laughs> Me too. We'll allow it today on Trivia on the Strivecast, Jeff. We'll allow it. Point for Jeff. Oh. Thank you, Alex. True or false? A dentist invented candy corn. No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I got the question wrong. <laughs> like, I'm not quite sure what the question is. <laughs> True or false? A dentist invented cotton candy, not candy corn, cotton candy. T or an F? Did a dentist invent cotton candy? Uh, false. Jeff's going false. I guess we'll uh, go against the green and say true. Ryan's going true. Can you repeat that? I can. True or false, a dentist invented cotton candy. Thoughts. False. Whitney? I think it's true. And Pete? I'm going with the Strivecast send and video engineer, Ryan Taylor. I'm going true. Yes. That was a good call, because yeah. that is correct. A dentist <sighs> did invent cotton candy, and I have zero... Additional information for you on that question. Well, dentists are still human. That's right. I will not fact check it. Candy, and it's not recommended you can consume them. Because how many dentists before or after invention of it, though? Good question. Question six. Also multiple choice. Which one of the following is not a Jelly Belly flavor name? Oof. So which of the following is not a jelly bean flavor from Jelly Belly? A, earthworm. B, toothpaste. C, gin and tonic. D, chickpea. Uh, um, Three of those are real flavors. I, go with, I would go with chickpea. Noel's going chickpea? Yes, Jeff? Um, I go with uh, toothpaste. Toothpaste? Pete? I'm going to go gin and tonic. Uh, Ryan? So, what again is the question? So, which one of the following is not a real jelly bean flavor? Earthworm, toothpaste, gin and tonic, or chickpea? Toothpaste. And Whitney. I'm going chickpea. That was a good move on your part, Whitney, because chickpea is the correct answer. Noel and Whitney, two points for Noel for getting it first. One point for Whitney for getting it second. Earthworm, don't know what that tastes like, but it is a real flavor. Toothpaste, also a real flavor. And apparently Jelly Belly released a limited edition line of cocktail classic jelly bean wow. flavors, of which wow. Gin and Tonic was part of it. <laughs> Little G&T jelly bean. <laughs> Question seven on Strivia on the Strivecast. What color did blue replace in M&M candies in 1995? 
Oof. No multiple choice, but what color did the blue M and M replace in 1995? I think I think pink. Pink. Whitney, can I have another minute? Nope. <laughs> I think Ryan? brown. Brown. I'm gonna say purple. Purple. Pink? I'm gonna say orange. Orange. And Jack. Um, I think I'm going to uh, what Pete said. It could be red, too. Red left and came back, and there was some controversy. Um, yes, I'm going with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, uh, Whitney. I just talked about it going with me. <laughs> well, that, neither of those are right. So <laughs> the correct answer is tan. There was a tan, tan. M&M. I don't know they had tan. <laughs> they Ryan, you were close. close. Yeah, Ryan, I'll give you half a point for being the closest. I mean, tan's a shade of brown, but it's not quite. Yeah. Half uh, a point for Ryan. You'd be generous today. Just I'd take it and run with it. No, oh, thank you. No more tan M&Ms. Another way... for... Oh, what's up, No. Um, do I need to go because it's 1228? It's almost time. We got a few more questions if you want to hear them. Okay. True or false, jelly beans made a line of energy beans. Oh. I'll say true. True. I go with true, too. True. True. What? True. Jeff? Uh, true. True. T. Clean sweep here on Trivia on the Stridecast. The correct answer was true. Point for everyone. They were called sports beans and had electrolytes, carbs, and vitamins in them. Hmm. So next time you are going to work out, have some sports beans. Um, is, that, is that two? Two for me? <laughs> hey. Oh, sorry. 1.5. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Um, two more questions. Where this is not multiple choice, so it's kind of like a bonus question, so it's going to be worth five points. Oh, five. Where does the name Three Musketeers come from? Uh, Walt Disney, Walt Disney. Okay, are there multiple choice? No, nope. that's why it's bonus. I think Walt it's like, Walt because Disney. it's made by three people together. Three people, good guess. Jeff, what do you think? Um, well, what was the question again, Alex? Where does the name Three Musketeers come from? Um, I think it, it, uh, the Three Musketeers is the name uh, of a... Uh, okay. My case worker is here. Okay. Um, uh, is the name... Uh, See you later. What else, Jeff? Um, it's named after a chocolate bar, Milky Way. Okay, so the name comes from Milky Way chocolate bar. Yeah. Uh, Pete. I'm gonna say the three flavors and it all working together. And what I was actually gonna say three ingredients working together. Not working together, but three ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly right. You guys were the closest. Um, the correct answer is that the bar originally came in three separate pieces, a vanilla, a strawberry, and a chocolate. Oh. But the chocolate's the only one that remains today. Mm. So that's well, just one musket here, technically. <laughs> that was right. Without yeah. the name being changed, like it's still it's called three musket here, though, being three separates. <laughs> that logic. Yeah, give Ryan a point. I didn't that. know what it was named after, but with that logic, why didn't they just call him one? <laughs> Wait for Ryan for making us all laugh yeah. on this drive cast today. <laughs> all right. True or false? Good on true or false questions today. In the 1800s, doctors actually advised their broken hearted patients to eat chocolate to help cure them. Oh, I, I I say, Alex. I say it's um, uh, true. True. 
I say true. True? Whitney? I'll go true. And Pete? I'm going to make up some points, so I'm going to go false. Well, unfortunately, you're not going to make up points that way because that is wrong. <laughs> the correct answer is true. Doctors actually told their brokenhearted patients to eat some chocolate to cheer them to your butt. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Learn something not, new and try your ass every not, week. Not me, apparently. <laughs> All right, that was all the questions we have. We do have a fun little bonus game if anyone wants to play. Is it worth points? It is worth points. Then I'm in. Why would it not be worth points? I don't know. Minus one for a silly question. Oh. <laughs> and it goes here on the Thrivecast. <laughs> Just so. kidding. Okay, so this game is all about candy slogans. Oh, too bad Noel left. Yeah. <laughs> so you either have to fill in the blank or you have to tell me what the candy slogan is. We're going to go one at a time in a circle. No, we're not actually we're just gonna have a free-for-all raise your hand if you know what the answer is <laughs> guys she hasn't read the question yet. Question just practicing. Yet. <laughs> and i need to read the first ones so fill in the blank okay i should just shout out the answer just shout it out yeah okay no raise it. what's the best way to do this shout it out <laughs> well each one will have a different rule okay Raise your hand for the first one. <laughs> Hungry? Grab a? Yeah, I don't know if I can get this. It's hard. Grab, grab a what? I don't yeah. think you can. So it's a candy bar. I'm looking for a candy bar name. Hungry? Grab a? <laughs> uh, I say it, it, it's grab a. Okay. Grab a, grab a what? <laughs> oh, I think I know. Snickers? Dude, uh, raise yeah. your hand. I've been trying to raise my hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, grab a that's the correct answer. <laughs> Our Twix. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm going with. Uh, Pete, is that what you were going to say? Yes. <laughs> we'll give a yeah. point to Pete and Ryan. Oh, yeah. Okay. I go with the Twix. Whew. Crying. Oh. You guys, we had to cut some of that out, but it was yeah. a pretty good answer by Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Just not Strivecast friendly. <laughs> no. oh. Sorry, Pete. They're like Pete but G rated too. That's right. <laughs> that was funny. That was not G-rated. <laughs> okay, the next one is just tell me the candy that belongs to this slogan. Taste the rainbow. Skittles. Oh, yeah. me. Skittles. I thought we raised our hands. She did raise her hand. She didn't get called. Eminem. On. No one said I had to get called on just raise my hand. Oh. Now we're cheating all over the place. All right, moving forward. <laughs> Raise your hand and I will call on you to give the answer. We have to be really specific with our rules here on the Strivecast. Thank you. Everybody cheats here on the Strivecast. I'd like you to know I missed the first question and I didn't put any fight up about not getting votes. Uh, so whose fault was that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting salty here on the Strivecast. I cannot <laughs> be doing that on Strivia. All right, yeah. next one. This is a finish the slogan. Break me off a piece of that. Uh, 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 <laughs> of the kick up bar. <laughs> Boy, for Jeff. He didn't even raise his hand. Yeah, you gotta raise your hand. hand. For all. I, I, wait, was it free for all? I thought we had to raise our hand. I'm looking. Raise your hand and be called on, she said. Yeah. I would have said the same thing. Yes, Jeff. Me. Minus five points for Jeff. What's the answer, Jeff? Big of piece of the kick up bar. That's correct. Good job, Jeff. And I would just as much said. <laughs> All right, no more shouting out answers. I will give you minus points for the next person that calls that answers without me calling on them. Yeah, right. Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Feet. M and M's. Yes. Finally. <laughs> next one. It's all in the mix. Ryan. I guess coolly, but that's not really key. I don't even know if that is. That's okay. That was a good guess. Unfortunately, that's not it. But I like your strategy of raising your hand. Mm -hmm. It's all in the mix. It's all in the mix. I <laughs> Sorry. I can't think of that. <laughs> it's a Twix. Oh. I'm trying to give you the clue with mix. Twix. That's a Twix? Yeah. Uh, that doesn't. Yes, Jeff. Um, um, it, 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 it's a Twitch. It is. Unfortunately, I can't give you any points for that, but it is. 
Because she already did that once today. I did. Okay. Only one time for Tradcast episode. Per person? No. <laughs> uh-huh. Next one. Isn't life juicy? Ryan. Starburst. Good job. Point for Ryan. The next one. There's no wrong way to eat a... This candy has been mentioned before on today's episode of the Strivecast. Ryan. Reese's. Reese's, Ryan. Yes, you are doing so good. I love that you're just taking a chance and guessing. Lesson to the rest of you. Well, I've heard these the candy. before. This one. I feel a- like Alex is getting a little aggressive <laughs> and speaking mean names. Sorry, I'll tone it down. <laughs> First they're sour, <laughs> then they're sweet. Whitney. Sour Patch Kids. That's correct, Whitney. There Great you go. Did you know they're the most popular candy in Maine? I didn't know Morning that. Morning to Alex. Thank you for sharing. You don't have to be like that. Is this better? Just ner- <laughs> Hey, this is her time. trivia on the Strivecast game. Let her do whatever she wants. <laughs> oh, listen to that now. Isn't that funny that you say that now? Drama on the Strivecast. <laughs> no drama on the Strivecast. <laughs> All right, we got two more. A little bit of heaven. Ryan. Hershey's. No, but good guess. A little bit of heaven. I've got no idea. Oh, but heaven. Chocolate. No, but good guess. Ryan. Milky Way. Yes, Ryan. Good job. That makes sense. It's like saying it all these different terms. Ryan's dominating this category. <laughs> Last one. Two for me, none for you. Hmm. I thought that was Twix. Guess it. Whitney. Twix. That's right. I told you guys <laughs> two Twixes in there. <laughs> That's all I got for candy slogans on today's Trivia on the Strivecast. I got a lot of math to do, though. Oh. So, talk about candy. Jeff, what's your favorite candy? Um, I don't really eat candy. Ever? <laughs> no. Okay. If you were to eat candy, what kind would you like to eat? Uh, probably the Reese's. Good choice. All right. Ryan? I'd say something like Kit Kat or uh, Twix. Break me off a piece of that. Yeah. Yeah. Whitney? Um, I like a Twix or a hundred grand. Ooh. But I also really enjoy a gummy situation like a bear or a worm or a mm-hmm. sour patch kid. It depends if you're in the mood for chocolate or dessert. Right. And just because they haven't been mentioned, Swedish fish, I'll go. So Whitney, we also had a very interesting segment um, with our friend Noel. And actually, no, I guess this was Rushmore. But if you were going to to war and you had to fight a fight with five animals, four animals, and maybe a retiring celebrity, which four animals would you go into a fight with? I'm fighting them or they're on my team. No, you and these four animals are fighting. I'd probably say a, a lion. Okay. Um, maybe a giraffe to get some tall things. Oh, somebody said you would say giraffe. We guessed what you would say. <laughs> and somebody said giraffe. Um, a big, maybe an eagle, something that flies. You said that for what? you. Yeah. No, I said for Whitney. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Um, I want something that covers like all bases. So maybe like a a shark. Does that count? Yeah. Somebody said shark, but not for you. In and I did. I didn't have you saying that for her either, Alex. I had that you for you. It was my like fifth one. I said I. I don't think I actually put it in there. Do I need one more? Yep. Um, a monkey, so it can like swing on things. I don't think anybody said monkey. I said ape. So, mm-hmm. okay. Well, while Alex is doing more math, what would be the four worst things to fight with you? Four animals. Probably like a worm and <laughs> nobody said worm. I said worm. A ladybug. No, yeah, you did. Ladybug. Nobody said that. Um, maybe just like a fish, goldfish. Oh, Alex did say goldfish. 
and um a bunny a bunny i said bunny um moles also can were i change it sorry an answer to like a poisonous like spider or something that oh would that's be a good one nobody said that that's a good one Alex is four that she thought would be the worst to fight with would be inchworm, hummingbird, goldfish, and wig. <laughs> I wig? said my, like that hair was, piece? I was given to me. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Knowles were penguin, possum, drano, and mushroom. Drano. Also giant mud puddle <laughs> as well. Okay. <laughs> All right, Alex. We done here counting up the math on this trivia on Strivecast? Sure. All right. A lot of movement. No, not a lot of movement, but a lot of points. Actually, zero movement. <laughs> but a lot of points gained here on today's trivia on the Strivecast. Noel, still in first place with 134 points. Whitney, 129.75. Ryan made up a lot of ground today with his knowledge of candy slogans, 127.5. So closing yeah, in on second place. Jeff, great work today. 118.25. Awesome job. Yeah. You, you gained a lot of points today, but you're so close to that 90 point mark, 89 points to close out the day. So lots of points gained, no places moved, but we'll be ascending the rain soon. I heard that there's a wheel next week. There is. I did say that too. We are bringing back the trivia wheel next well, week. It'll be a chance to uplift into being a centenarian. That's right. Maybe I can hit 100. <laughs> we'll see. All Stay right. tuned next week to watch us spin the wheel on Strivia on the Strivecast. Jeff, would you like to take us to break? Yes. We'll be right. We'll be right back. What about name your favorite holidays? Okay, would you like to introduce your segment? Yep, sit down and listen. Sit down and listen. Here it comes. What are we sitting down and listening about? Name your favorite holidays. Name your favorite holidays right here on the Strivecast. Who would you like to go first? You. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> favorite holiday? I'm going to go uh, Christmas. Yeah. Miss Jeff going like this. Jeff? I think I'm going with Christmas, same as Pete. Same as Pete. Then we have Alex with Alex. I was also going to say Christmas, but I'm trying to think of a different one. Um, Christmas is my favorite, though. Then Alex. No, I say Alex. Ryan. Ryan. I say Christmas, too. Just clean sweep. I cast love uh, Christmas. There you go. What about you, NPT? April Fool's Day. April oh. Fool's Day is your favorite holiday? <laughs> Christmas and Valentine's. Oh, I didn't know we could do more mm -hmm. than one. Yep. Valentine's Day, you old romantic. Yep. <laughs> what about if you were in a different zip code? What kind of zip code do you want to be in? <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, like a place? Yeah. Okay. Wow. I'm always curious if there's actually a place one, two, three, four, five as a zip code. Is that oh. really is that a real place? Could be. Damn, Could be. Who else got a zip code? What's your favorite uh, zip code? How about Alex? <laughs> um Oh yeah, there is a zip code one two three four five. It's Shen Schenectady, New York. Huh. Oh, I, I already pronounced that, but if we yeah. Google it, that's their zip code. Yeah, it's Schenectady, New York. Look at that. It's right there in New York. Huh. That's pretty cool. Yes. I'm yes. gonna go with Schenectady, New York, Noel. Yeah. Um, what about Jeff right over Jeff, here? Jeff. Jeff, you pick a city in the. Or a city or a town or anywhere in the United States, I'll figure out the zip code for you. <laughs> okay. Right here on the Stripecast. Auckland, New Zealand. Auckland, Auckland New, Zealand? New Zealand. Wow. 
Oh, okay. Please hold. I think they use maybe a little different zip code, but please hold. Did I get lion yet? Okay. Hold on one second. Auckland, New Zealand has a bunch of zip codes. There are only four numbers. Zero, six, zero, zero. Uh, I think they call it a postal code, but there you go. You're sending mail to New Zealand. And Lion Taylor. So how about, um, I don't know, somewhere in Florida. Uh, okay. I, I like to go to zero, zero, five, four, three. Okay, hold on. Zip codes in Florida are like start with 32, 000, 32. So 32003, 32013, 32054 example. Where would you like to go, Noel? 00231251. Long numbers. I think that's one too many. 00231? Yeah. Is not currently assigned. Hmm. Give me another one. Okay, 204.02. 20402? There's no points in zip codes. 20402 is in Washington, D.C. Wow. Yep. There you go. You knew that? Yeah. Oh. I did not know that before. I did not know that before either. But, hey, you learn something new every time on the Strivecast, right? Yep. Yes. Um. What city is Alice? Is from. Is what from? Me? Yes. What zip code would I want to move to? I'm going to go 80305. I'll bet she knows what this is. 80305. Is this Oregon? Colorado? Boulder, Colorado. Yeah. Look at that. Good question, Noel. Lots of, lots of math about here in this podcast today. <laughs> Yeah. What What about name of oldest telephones? Name the oldest telephones? How are you supposed yeah. to know what? A rare triple question here <laughs> on Sit Down and Listen. Oldest telephones. Did you know that somewhere in Maine there is actually a telephone museum? Oh, wouldn't the old, oldest type of telephone be sort of like the cups with strings attached? Uh, mm. Like tin cans, even. The tin can, yes. Um, I'm going to look up about the telephone museum. I've never heard of that. I mean, that's technically very low tech, though. <laughs> and that was like the very first form of a telephone, telephone. museum is in Ellsworth. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It's a 501c3 nonprofit. Wow. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to give that question to Jeff first. Founded in 1984. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. What, what, is, what is Jeff's favorite owner's telephone? Jeff? Uh, yes, Pete. Yeah, what is favorite it? old telephone. Yeah. Um, I don't know. This is a hard one. This is a really hard one. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna yeah. go with uh, the old like Nokia cell phone that you could play Snake on. That's not that they old, do, but I they like do it. have a shoe phone. Somewhere. I had well, the old Sports Illustrated sneaker phone cool. way back in the day. Thought that was cool. Yeah. Is that your favorite video? Um. Yeah. No, I think not. I think my favorite phone is probably an iPhone. Yeah. How about right over here, Mister Ryan? So, favorite what? Oldest oh, telephone. iPhone or any kind of smartphone, really. If you had yeah. ones, you can't really go back to anything else. Uh, that's what uh, I was. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah. How about Miss Alex? I'm just gonna go with the, you know the old fashioned banana phone. Just think of banana <laughs> and use it as a phone. I bought a 1969 telephone. Could be. None of us were alive, but 
Happy Maybe Whitney. Maybe that's her favorite poem. 1964. 1964. What year was the telephone invented? I don't know. It's Thomas Edison. Look at you. Did he invent off. the telephone, though? I knew he invented the light bulb. No, that was an Alexander Graham Bell. Graham Bell, yeah. But I never thought this much bar. about telephones, Noel, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, name oh. your, name <laughs> your f favorite oldest television set. <laughs> <laughs> television set. Right. <laughs> breaking this is like groundbreaking stuff right here we're on our fourth sit down and listen question um whitney's not here everything is all <laughs> breaking loose here on the strive cast um okay who's going first how about ryan hi favorite old television the tv itself or the show good question um, sounds like you're talking about the old the, the style of the TV. Oh, wow. Favorite old one or favorite? Any, any, old, like any any kind. Your favorite television. Who's your favorite television? An ultra HD TV. I bet mm -hmm. an 8K one would be really nice, but they're very expensive still. But, That's right. I mean, I got 4K at home, but I'm not a 75 inch at home. Oh. Yeah. How about Mr. Jeff over here? Jeff, what's your favorite television? Um, I don't know. Tell our Strivecast family. Maybe Drake Bells have a favorite TV set. Maybe, maybe, Jeff. Oh. maybe we can interview him sometime. Jeff? Uh, um, yeah, Pete. What's your favorite television? Um, I think it's the one we play video tapes. Oh, what, oh, like with a VCR attached? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Um, have you been been Mine. I'm. I had like an old one that was like my college one. It was oh. like giant, like heavy, weighed like a million pounds, carrying it up <laughs> all the stairs. Now they come in like little boxes, and it's light as a feather, you know. But I'm gonna go with that old bad boy that I carried around for a lot of years. <laughs> yeah. That um, older. Yeah. I think it was like a Panasonic or something. Zenith. Have you, yeah. How about you, Alex? I think I don't know if this counts as a TV, but my favorite kind of TV is just like a projector. I think those are fun to watch on. <laughs> Not a TV. <laughs> okay, yeah, what about anything you can watch the Strivecast on then? There you go. Oh, that's about it. Get down on the display, you can make it. <laughs> that's about it for my segment. Wow. Okay. Four questions. A rare four question sit down and listen episode of the Strivecast. Thank you, Noel. Uh, Jeff, you want to take us to break? Uh, yes, Pete, we'll be right back. We're back, and the Strivecast is brought to you by... Listeners like who? Listeners like who, Ryan? Kentrell Young. Kentrell Young, listener of the week on the Strivecast. Thanks for listening to the Strivecast. All right. Thank you, Kentrell. Um, and Jeff, tell them how they could be listener of the week of the Strapcast. Um, you can um, send us a message, uh, um, uh, or, or you can call us at, at 207-772-6278. Yes, that's what I meant, Pete. I got you. I got you. All right. Or you can you can like on our, 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 our post. That's right. Comment on our post, like our social media. Interact yeah. with the Strivecast one way or another, and we'll make you listener of the week. Anything else? I uh, know. All right. Then would you like to take us to break? Yes, Pete. We'll be right back. All right, we're back, and it's time to... It's time to wrap it up. It is, Jeff. It is time to wrap wrap up it up here in the Strivecast. So um, let's wrap it up. No, Noel, Noel, as he had to leave, he had to go on assignment. Um, 
What's a, does somebody want to tell us a disgusting rap of the week? Or not. Jeff can do it. What? Jeff Maybe it's like thing. rotten fish. Um... That maybe that's enough. Um, egg, um, just rotten fish. And like it's filled with uh mayonnaise and combination and that's that sounds like a disgusting wrap of the week to me. I don't know. I I, I was bar trying to eat that thing. Yeah, did a weird combination of everything. I would all right. There's our disgusting wrap of the week, pinch hit by Ryan. Um wait, what do we got coming up for events? Well, this just in, we have a number of special 25th anniversary events coming up this summer. Is this breaking news? This is breaking news, everybody. On the Strivecast? On the Strivecast. Right here. We should Strivecast. have a little, like, alert. Alert, breaking alert, news. breaking. So, we are going to celebrate our 25th anniversary in a number of different ways this summer. More info to come, but I will share dates and our events here right now <laughs> so on saturday july 20th we will be having a night at the sea dogs in their special picnic area Ooh. so we will have a link to purchase tickets very shortly in an email on facebook all of that we're also going to do a cruise in casco bay Ooh. in august August 15th, a sunset cruise on the Casablanca in Casco Bay. And wow, that sounds awesome. It's going to be so awesome. And then even more fun is in September, we are going to have a super Strive night, which is going mm -hmm. to be open to all Strive ages. We're going to have food trucks, a band. It's going to be a really special night celebrating our very first Strive night a couple months early. <laughs> <laughs> but on Friday, September 20th, that will be our Super Strive Night. So mark your calendar for all three of those really exciting dates. And as I said, info coming soon in an email on the website, on social media. So stay in touch with us or just email me and I can get the info to you too. But also, oh my goodness. we wanted to- But wait, there's more. There's more. This is not a 25th anniversary event, just a really fun annual event that we always hold, our Strive for Five Bowdoin Road 5K and Block Party. Wow, what's that? That is your typical road race walk run on Sunday, July 14th. Yep. Right here at Strive. It kicks off at 8 a.m. with a free kids fun run. We love Did Free. I free? said free. F -R -E -E. No money? Free. Only wow. 12 and under. And then what ends at 8.30. Sign wow. out at kidsellstrive.org. Ticket, uh, not tickets, I'm sorry. Registration is $30 a person until Friday, July 12th. And then it goes up to $35 a person. So register now. Also, after the race, we'll be having a fun block party right here at Strive with some special activities and games from members in our Strive Business to Business Networking Group. So come on down on July 14th and I can't enjoy wait. a 5K. That sounds so fun. It's going to be a great time. What more can you ask for? That's a lot of events, Whitney. Not wow. No, nothing else. <laughs> All right. Ryan, are we still hiring? Yes, we are. Strive is still hiring. It was a sign bonus of $1,750. Check out pslstrive.org slash employment. All right. I think that just about covers everything. Jeff, do you have anything else you'd like to say? Uh, no, Pete, I'm all set. One thing as we before we go, we talked about doing a new segment. Whitney, you'll like this. We talked about trying to do one segment for sometimes when we don't have guests of like something that's like happening in pop culture. Like so mm -hmm. next time we might actually try the Dr. Pepper pickle soda thing that's going around. So I do not know what that is. It's because you you're not as cool Probably as not. some of us. <laughs> but anyway, so we might do things like that. So stay tuned. Lots of cool stuff coming up on the Stripecast. Anything else? 
<clears throat> All right. Then we'll see you next time. Thanks We're for listening to the Strivecast. The Strivecast. Bye. Bye, Strivecast. Bye. 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 Bye.